Peace, love, and light, beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a collective reading. I'm going to pick up on the energy, see what's coming and going out, going on. Uh, for you beautiful souls, I will everyone is blissed. Yesterday I picked up on yin energy, um, so today it's only right that I balance the scales and uh, pick up on the yang energy. Uh, so I want to tap in, tune in, see what's coming and going out, going on for my divine masculine energy. I will everyone is blissed, everyone is well. I will everyone is enjoying their moon day feeling good you know positive vibrations i will that this message reaches you all in good spirits um for anyone that may be new welcome my name is q i am a scorpio i am an empath i channel messages intuitively and i am clear audience so you will hear music in the background those messages from the songs whether the lyrics in the songs so whether the name of the track name of the artist maybe even the time stamp stamp of the track it may resonate in permeate with what's coming out telepathically or intuitively I should say um, through the cards or through my intuitive messages and it will all correlate blend beautifully together uh, and that's just how I read here on the channel um, I am also providing a general message for the collective meaning this is not personal uh, so please eat the fish spit out the bones um, if it doesn't apply just let it fly by I don't need you to go down in the comment section and try to take out your frustration on me um, I don't know your personal situation so if you need to do a switcheroo of the characters please do so um, and just leave what doesn't you know what doesn't pertain to you if it doesn't resonate if it doesn't pertain to you then keep it pushing baby um, and this is also timeless so whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video that is the divine timing that was intended for you all to do so so let's go ahead um, right now uh, what's playing is we have tweet uh, and then the name of the song is called beautiful and one of the words uh, one of the lyrics in this song that resonated was um, you're the first thought of each day so you're like the first thought of you know so someone um, thinks of you you know as soon as they wake up it's like you're the first thought in that day what is Scorpio doing or what is my Leo doing? What is my Libra doing? You saw how I tried to clean that up because I said this was <laughs> I said that this was a collective read and that I, you know, I slipped up and said Scorpio because I'm usually reading for Scorpio. But you know, if you're a Taurus, just apply. Apply whatever. So it's like you're the first thought of each day for this feminine or this masculine, whatever your preference is. Um it's like they think of you. You're the first thought. When they wake up, they're like, oh, man, what are they doing? Um, you know, just constantly, um, you know, renting space. You're renting space in someone's mind. Um, they find you to be beautiful, a beautiful soul. They may find you to be very attractive, um, just very alluring, very intriguing, even mysterious. There's something just very, um, just very, I feel like almost... A sense of addiction like this person's addicted to you uh, they could be watching you privately whether you realize this or not um, they could even be someone that's in your um, environment that you may not know maybe a secret admirer maybe a neighbor maybe a co-worker uh, maybe you know if you uh, patronize a local gym maybe there's a you know a patron of the gym that you attend that is um, holding holding these feelings hoping to see you hoping to bump into you um, and they're just trying to kind of muster up perhaps the, the strength, the courage to to say these words, to express these feelings. Maybe you I'm hearing unapproachable. So maybe you have a very standoffish type of disposition. Maybe you carry yourself like you're not interested or very, you know, maybe you're very confident and they can perceive you to be a little arrogant, maybe. Um, but I feel there's some unsurety as to how to approach you. Um, we got Jersey uh, Monet singing Tonight is the Night, uh, but the name of the album is Love and War. So maybe somebody may reach out tonight. You know, maybe someone, like I said, um, they get this, 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 this drive, 
you know, this almost like this drive to reach out to say something, but then maybe there's this fight, you know, there's like a, a push and pull type of energy, a tug of war, because with love and war, I feel like, you know, someone's battling perhaps um, themselves, their fears, uh, their insecurities, their uncertainties, maybe they lack the confidence that they need to approach you to come towards you, because you come off so confident, because you come off so poised, so well put together, um, but we're going to tap in. We're going to see what's coming and going on, going on for my divine masculine energy. As I said, this is a collective reading. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala. Mama Oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe. 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 So let's go ahead. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on. You know me. I like to start off, start off with numerology. Bottom of the deck, we got love. So, like I said, somebody is like thinking of you. You're the first thought of each day. This is a secret admirer. This is someone that you may know, someone from your past. As I said, this could be someone you may be past daily. You know, if you attend a, a gym, as I said, maybe this is a patron of the gym that you attend. This could be a neighbor. You know what I'm saying? This could be someone that may frequent the same supermarket that you attend, uh, someone that you may work with. This is someone that you know are and are familiar with. Um, I do feel like this person could see themselves in a partnership, in a connection, building an alliance, um, building a relationship with you, cultivating something real. Um, I feel strongly uh, there's a lot of love. Um, this person is, you know, really getting closer to coming towards you because with tonight is the night, I feel like someone is finally like feeling confident enough to approach them and they're like, okay, I'm doing it. You know, because with tonight is tonight, tonight is the night, it's like somebody is, you know, is is almost like affirming something like I'm doing it tonight so don't be surprised if some of you masculines receive like a message or you know if someone sends a text out of the blue someone just you know kind of approaches you and and you know just says you know hello you know that could be uh, a way that this person um just opens up the floor to to see where things can go you know just maybe even just greeting you approaching you um speaking up saying something um and on the split, we have perseverance. So there is, you know, some sense of like uh, someone sees you as the divine masculine. Um, this four is the emperor. So they see you as very poised, as I said, very confident. You know, the emperor is a leader, a boss. He's a go-getter. Uh, he's very strong-willed, confident, you know, very passionate, powerful. Um, and they see you as someone that they love. Like, they have a lot of love. They also see you as someone who is well put together, very solid individual. Like, you stand on your word. You mean what you say. It's like your word is your bond. It's like they, they look at you and they see stability they see uh security um they feel like you have been through a great deal you know like maybe you've been through a lot of battles and you've you know you've 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 won the wars you know what i'm saying you've been through battles and you got the scars to prove whatever it is you've been through and that's that's made this person appreciate you you know that this is like somebody is really like um appreciative uh very much in awe of you uh, we have a Mel LaRoe down, but the name of the album is called Infinite Possibilities. So I do feel like this person has some sort of like they they feel your like their wish fulfillment, like you embody everything they may look for in a masculine energy. Like you are very alpha male, um, but you're also someone who, you know, holds on to those principles, um, you know, the, the, the very uh, principles of, you know, what what. Uh, um, perhaps maybe like 
you know, the, the, the grand, your grandfathers, your uncles, um, you know, just a man's man, someone that believes in protecting the family, providing for the family, um, you know, not allowing anything external to interfere uh, with what's going on within the household. So someone who has a lot of integrity, um, a lot of respect. So it's like almost as if you, you don't get, um, excited by uh people throwing themselves at you uh because you know maybe it's happened so much that it that it doesn't even it doesn't even sway you it's like you you look for someone who is going to you know really uh hold the values that you uphold so if you have a, a very strong um you know, uh, attraction, like if you're very attractive, um, 10, 10 on the clock. Uh, so there's definitely like some sense of, you know, completion. So it's like, you've, you've completed that phase in your life where you was the player chasing after tail, you know, knocking them down, you know, it's, it's like you've, you've surpassed that mentality and now you have evolved as someone who's, you know, even more confident because self-love, you know, it, it, it's like when you have self-love, it's like you don't allow everyone to have access to you. And as a masculine, that is a love, like almost like a very difficult um, place to reach uh, because, you know, with societal beliefs, your homeboys in your ear, just like all these pressures around you telling you what a masculine is supposed to embody, like he's supposed to have, a you know, a gazillion women on his back or in his black book. And it's like you, you've evolved from being that player. It's like you're now looking for the right one, 11-11. As soon as I said a, the right one, 11-11 was on the clock. So you're looking for your divine feminine because you have absolutely ascended into that divine masculine with that four perseverance. So you've you've endured some hurt and pain in your life, which has elevated you to the point of knowing who you are now and what you deserve of. So you're not willing to just lay with anything because it's like you already understand the workings of that that succubus and incubus type of energy so you're not you know and maybe you were entangled with that already and you had to detangle and detach and free yourself from those type of of um attachments uh from those type of um toxic connections um or relationships i should say or you know situationships so it's like now um there's this enlightenment. It's like you're trusting your intuition more. You're using discernment more. I feel like spirit communicates with you. Your your first eye is open. It's activated. You could see clearly. You could see beyond the illusions. And I feel like that's why you're not impressed or even in like the least bit interested in anybody who seems to be easy um anybody who comes off like a jump off or like a side piece or just super ratchet and it's like that is like a turn off you're looking for somebody now that just radiates that confidence that they don't have to show everything to get attention it's like it's they're very well put together very poised such as yourself you could tell there's a story you know when you look into their eyes there's something you know deeper um with that person and so maybe that's the uh, energy that I feel you're picking up on because that six that's love you know the lovers and then you know the six came out when I first picked up the deck and that speaks to the lovers and the lovers are spiritually aligned um and and we know that because there's an angel and I just saw 1313 so y'all been through something very traumatic and the person you're attracting has mirrored you in that regard which is why I feel you're coming into union with like the yin to your yang um you're coming into union with the your kindred spirit, a soulmate, a cosmic companion, uh, because as I was just speaking, um, there's an angel, angels are aligning you with someone, uh, because the lovers, there's an angel overseeing that couple, and, you know, one of the two are awakened to um, the connection uh, more than the other. So there's almost like, you know, the alignment is still taking place. And I feel like when that, 
that aha, that epiphany, you know, because there is absolutely some sort of enlightenment, um, a light bulb moment, because this yellow really speaks to, uh, you know, just uh, illumination, clarity, um, even seeing the truth for the first time, because now you're using your first eye. Now you're utilizing um, that discernment, that inner wisdom. Now you're trusting, you know, the cycles, the rhythms of your own body um, and your inner understanding what it's communicating to you so now there's this connectedness this knowingness and I feel like there's messages coming through uh, perhaps via your dreams uh, telepathy intuitively uh, maybe animal totem synchronicity whatever it is that's happening we got common and this is called all night long featuring Erica Badu so somebody definitely dreams of you all night long and then they wake up to thoughts of you um, because um you're the first thought of each day uh, was something that really struck me when I heard that lyric. And so I really feel like you have rented space in someone's mind. And not only do they dream of you, um, you know, but they also think of you um, all the time. You know, so we have love partnership here. So someone sees you as a wish fulfillment. Um, some of you may have walked away from a connection um, or needed to walk away from a connection uh, in order to have this newfound freedom that I feel you have. Um, I feel also that you're coming into a union that is going to be equally yoked. Uh, this is going to be someone because, you know, this eight when it is turned sideways becomes the infinity symbol. So I feel like this is someone that you could have manifested, someone that you could have prayed for, someone you could have um, called in. And I feel like this this is coming in sooner than you could imagine, because remember, we had tonight is the night. So for some of you, uh, this person may reach out to you all tonight um, or it just may be a a night where you're just chilling and your phone chimes and you like, wait, what's this number? And you pick up and it's like, it's that person or maybe there is, you know, someone that approaches you um, finally to communicate and express their feelings. 16, 16 on the clock, that's 7, 7, that's 14, so that's 5. So somebody will be communicating with you shortly. We just saw the communication card. Right now we have Granique playing anything and I do feel like this person is willing they're down for anything like this is somebody that's going to be ready to commit ready to go that extra step go that next step um this is somebody that's serious like they're not coming in to play games they're not looking for a sugar daddy they're not looking for somebody to pay their bills because this person is solid the same way you have persevered and gone through many losses and had to build yourself back up i feel like who you're attracting is a like mind you're attracting somebody that's on the same frequency and vibration so it's not like you saving anybody it's not like you you know trying trying to lead a horse to war. It's like they're already very solid and that's why they're attracted to you because as you love yourself, then you attract what you are. And so it's clear that you're attracting someone that you could have manifested or someone that is a wish fulfillment that's going to fulfill you emotionally. That's going to fulfill you, um, you know, spiritually. You're going to feel this connectedness. And I do feel with that eight, like this is a, a part of karmic justice, like something you have earned because of whatever you've endured in your past, whoever you dealt with in your past, it was not um, well balanced for you. There was an imbalance in that person. There was some level of toxicity and dependency on you, on your dollar, on your time. And it just, it wasn't fulfilling for you. So that's why I feel a strong sense of many of you masculines had to walk away uh, from relationships and connections where you felt like, you know, you was taking care of people. And so we got five change. So the changes you've implemented within yourself are really like, like I said, it's making you very attractive. I feel like a lot of you all have also like started to express yourselves more. Um, you started to tap into your spirituality more. You may be doing a lot of studying, researching, investigating. A lot of you are in that hierophant energy. That is alignment, spiritual alignment, spiritual strength. This is you being connected to the divine. A lot of you are sitting with your, like I said, uncles. Some of you are connecting with like grandfathers. If you have grandfathers still alive, maybe even your own fathers, your your babas, you know, you are sitting at the feet of the, the patriarchs of the family and you soaking up game and they're really telling you, um, you know, how to to pursue perhaps, you know, your own dreams to follow your dreams to tap into your creative and artistic 
artistic skills, gifts, and talents to be more daring, more risky, to, to do things that feel good for you because maybe you was being, you know, kind of held back from someone else. And with anything, anything is like infinite possibilities as we just saw with the Amel LaRose song. So I do feel like spirit is telling you like anything is possible. So you changed your perspective, you changed your direction, and now it's like you're, you're willing to do whatever it takes. 1919, that's 1010. So there was something that came full circle or karmic completion and you've learned karmic lessons and now you know that you could do anything you want to do anything you put your mind to you can absolutely achieve it if you could think it you could achieve it so a lot of you now are starting to you know vocalize what you need expressing more that's that confidence I was picking up but there is also just a sense of like maturity you have elevated ascended Oh man, this is beautiful. Masculines, like y'all are y'all are on your game right here. That five is powerful. So let's see, who is this that our beautiful collective yang energy is attracting to them? Who are they attracting to them? This may be a longer reading than the uh yin energy. Thank you, spirit. See that? You're attracting love to you. So whoever you're attracting, like I said, with the love, you got love partnership and love. You know? And this is somebody, look at this. We got just John Legend featuring Snoop talking about I can change. I can change. I can change. I can change for you. So somebody has changed for you. You know, maybe this is somebody from your past that wants to return, you know, because I'm getting also the six of cups as well. Somebody who made a wrong decision and now they're changing their mind, wanting to come back towards you. Maybe you've changed the course of direction and that's why you have love coming in. But somebody that you're attracting to you has love for you and it's because they feel you are the yang to their yin. You are yang energy. So they feel that you and them, this is an equal, you know, exchange of give, take. They feel that this is a divine partnership, a cosmic companion. They feel like you're their twin flame. You're someone that they love, someone that they really, truly um, desire to build with, grow with. This is someone who feels a sense of harmony. You know, they feel that this connection, like they, they're coming into alignment, as I said, because I strongly feel like your angels, ancestors, whomever you pray to, whomever you have sent up your petitions to, they have heard your prayers and they're being answered, you know. Wow, powerful, y'all. So who is this that you guys are going to be attracting? How do they feel about you? So you got this self-discipline here on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's been changing because change is... Um, is in the song and then we got 41 which reduces to five so we just saw the five to change so the changes you've made triggered someone else to make changes the things you've done to grow is now what they're doing you know they're kind of doing their own uh self check self analysis their so self analysis and soul searching to heal to grow so that they could get on your level um this is definitely someone who's also um loving themselves you know they could have been some you know people who were kind of overextended themselves to others uh, you know and they were being used you know they were being mistreated similar to how you may have felt in your own relationship but this is somebody with the five like they're going to communicate um, to you honestly you know there's going to be honesty there's going to be transparency when they express something to you this person has learned to love themselves and so the love they feel they're going to now be able to extend it to someone else because they genuinely have love for self they f fell in love with themselves and when you fall in love with yourself you know your worth and that's why they look at you as someone who is the yang to their yin someone that that they, that they feel that they are equally yoked with that's beautiful and they're willing to change for this connection like I said this is somebody that's coming in that wants to put forth the effort this is not somebody that's just sitting around looking for somebody to save them you know don't say uh, I don't want to be saved what's that song I'm hearing that loud in my mind's eye don't say the they don't want to be saved like that's it's like there's no more of that this person has already saved themselves similar to you you had to heal yourself and save yourself and now you're attracting what you are as i said a like mind so who's this uh person that our beautiful masculine energy is attracting to them 
and how do they feel about our beautiful masculine all right so first energy you're getting a lot of the same energy from um the yin energy um so music and this makes sense because yin and yang you know that's that's literally you know that's your cosmic companion that's a suit so music so with this song this person is making changes they're making changes for you for this connection because they feel like it is definitely um you know, a spiritual one. They feel a connectedness, a synergy. This person listens to music. They may have a favorite song and it says everything that they wish to express to you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like when this person, um, I feel like when this person hears your voice, it's like music to their ears. It's like there's like butterflies. They get butterflies. This is somebody that, you know what I'm saying? It puts, it takes them on a natural high because the name of this album is Get Lifted. So I just feel like they feel a natural high when they're in your presence. I strongly feel, you know, this is someone you already are familiar with. You know, you've bumped into this person, whether in this lifetime or former lifetime. You know, as I said, this could even be a neighbor, a coworker, a colleague. A, you know, it, this could even be a friend that could be your secret admirer. You know, but this just like this person, you know, it's like um, maybe they're also Claire Audience or maybe you, you know, maybe you are someone who hears music. Maybe you two like the same type of music is what I'm picking up as well. So now Tweet is singing my place. So I feel like this person may invite you over to their place. This, they, You know, I heard they may invite you over to eat this person. So be mindful of the food you're eating. Like don't eat everybody's food just because they're offering it, especially if they're making spaghetti and ish like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anything with a roux, like... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Stand clear. Eat the bread or whatever. But <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But, um, you know, I'm being silly, but I'm not. You know what I'm talking about? Like, just be mindful because when people invite you to their place, it's like you're in their domain. You're under their, you know, almost under their type of, um, under their influence, under their control. So it's like, you know, just because somebody's offering you food, if you didn't see them prepare the meal, um, I would need. You know what I'm saying? If somebody invites you over, uh, you know, you could, you know, if they say, are you hungry? You could say, hey, I, you know, I don't mind helping out what you need me to do. Just so you can see, oversee what's being done. But I do feel somebody's going to invite you over to their place. And I pick, I'm picking up on that energy because I feel like maybe somebody you've already detached from was doing some of that. You know, they was doing a witch's brew on you. You know, they had honey jars and all type of little ish to keep you where you were. And I feel like you literally had to, you know, muster up the strength and courage to move out of a situation that was very daunting, very heavy. I just feel a heaviness. I feel like stuckness, you know. But with this music card, I definitely feel like it's telling me to listen to this song. Uh, some of you all, somebody may tweet to you. They might send you a, a message, you know, via your tweet. Um, you know, so let's keep it pushing. So we have, uh, look at this. I can't make this up. 27, this is what's hidden. What's hidden is that this is a spiritual partnership. And this is exactly what I was saying. Your angels and ancestors, you know, your spirit team is aligning you with the right person. You know, because I was picking up strongly the lover's card and that angel I was seeing in my mind's eye how the angel oversees that partnership, that connection. And maybe in the past, someone was more awakened to the connection than the other. And so, you know, maybe someone walked away because before you get to the six, um, you know, you have the five. And remember, I was speaking, I was picking up on some, someone needing to mature. Someone wasn't on another person's level. You know, so there was a little maturity that need, and it, this could have even been you. You know, maybe there was a little more maturation you needed. Maybe you needed to to grow a little more, evolve a little more. You know, but um, now we have 71 health. This also came out, I believe, in the yin energy. This is like mental anguish. This is calm. Um, you know, like ruminating and pining, and uh, you know, just constantly thinking of something, obsessively thinking of someone. Someone's mental health is really questionable. You know, maybe somebody is really up in their head trying to figure out how to do this. This is self-imposed. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is really a self-imposed uh, position because it's like if you just open up your mouth and speak and say the words, then, you know, you could alleviate some of this confusion, some of this, you know, this this indecision. This, this, this is like 
with Southern Hummingbird, you know, I'm, I'm picking up on the bird reference. Birds are communicators. They deliver messages from spirit, from the angels. Um, that's air energy. So I do feel like this person needs to emote, open up the throat chakra, even if this is your energy. You know, that, that, that speaks to the throat chakra needing to open. We got the same energy, the environment now, 44. This is all green. What did I say about somebody being in your environment? This is somebody you already have, um, you know, you've bumped into, somebody you already know, somebody you have history with. This is somebody, as I said, you could work around, somebody you could live around in the same complex community, neighborhood. This could be somebody that frequents the same supermarket, gym as you. But this is definitely someone who sees you as a wish fulfillment, like they like what they see. They see infinite possibilities, 29, 29, 11, 11. This is somebody that definitely feels you're the yang to their yin. You masculines are coming off very attractive, you know, very confident, very dapper, debonair, you know, just very be just beautiful energy. Remember, beautiful was playing earlier. You're the first thought of each day. So somebody thinks of you as soon as they wake up, you're on their mind. This may be somebody that is truly a secret admirer, you know. And this person has also been doing the healing whenever I see double numbers. Um, you know, if you're new to the channel, whenever I see double numbers, I feel that is you, you know, kind of like attracting someone on the same vibration frequency. This is like a like mind, a twin flame, a soulmate, a kindred spirit, a cosmic companion, twin flame, you know, somebody. So with these double fours, remember the four perseverance showed up earlier. Now we see four, four. And four is the number of the heart chakra. Green is the color of the heart chakra. So now that there's a strong um, love of self, as I said, when you go, fall in love with yourself, then you're going to attract what you are. You're radiating love. You're radiating light, confidence, wise dome. You're just like a king. You're walking around with this confidence that's just like it's drawing them in, baby. And it's like you're very particular now. Like now you're choosing who you allow in your cipher now. It's not so much that they throw in themselves and you're just like, okay, come on. It's like you're, you're not interested in the easy pickings anymore. It's like you're looking for greatness because you're great because you're a king. You know what I'm talking about? You know, anybody could bang anything, but you don't realize like, you know, energy is transferable. So when you bang in those old musty, dusty, dirty you know, things, it's like that energy sticks with you and it lowers your vibration. You know what I'm talking about? And then you're operating and functioning from your lower self. You know, so I do feel that there was, you know, a need for some of you all to to like change. They had to to, to be some sort of change, internal change to realize like your value. You know what I'm saying? Like people say they know their worth and value, but you don't really if you are just allowing anyone to access you you know what i'm talking about like if you just like i said sleeping with old dusty broad that's in some old stink stripper club you know what i'm talking about just because you can or meeting a chick at a bar or at some random place and you just laying with a and sex in a like ew come on now and i feel <laughs> you know what i'm saying but it's just like y'all realize now like that that's not your frequency anymore it's this just not that's it doesn't do anything for you. You still feel empty. You still feel that sense of like loneliness when they're gone. Like it doesn't fulfill anything because if anything, they're feeding off of your energy and vibration because you're the divine masculine. So whoever you're allowing in your space, they feed it off of you, not the other way around. So it's like you're no longer allowing people to, you know, be spiritual parasites. And I feel now like you're you're attracting what you are. Somebody who's also healed, somebody who's solid, somebody who's grown, somebody who's experienced the same pains, hurts, and things um, that you've endured in your uh, lifetime, in your lifespan. This is also like karma. And we got Beyonce singing speechless. I feel like when this person does open up their throat chakra, when you do meet this person, because remember, I was picking up like infinite possibilities. Um, when this person does come in, it's going to leave you speechless. And I just saw a 333 on the clock, 369. So this is like, you know, that person that has changed. I feel like your perspective has changed as well. You know, it's like you're looking for somebody who's, you know, who's going to be able to stimulate you. You know, it's like you're looking for stimulation, mental stimulation more than just physical because you already you knocked a, uh, you knocked a lot of trees down. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, so now that doesn't even excite you. Three, three, three on the clock. So that is what? 
12, that's three. You're attracting your divine feminine. Three is the empress. And that's what you're going to be speechless when this person's enter, when this feminine energy enters your life, masculines, because this woman, this divine feminine is going to be so on your vibration. Like it's going to tick every single box that you didn't even know you had. This, this feminine energy is going to be beautiful inside and out. She's going to be wise. She's going to be well put together. She's going to be domestic. She's going to be a healer. Like her energy, her vibration is just going to be like, it's going to just pull you in, draw you in. It's going to leave you speechless. It's going to be, it's going to leave you speechless. Just how informed she is, just how much in common you both have. It's like the synergy is going to leave you speechless. The chemistry, just when you look into this feminine's eyes, it's like you're going to see a future. You're just going to feel that connectedness. This is beautiful. And we have 96 forgiveness. So when you forgive those who hurt you, that's like, you know, literally like freeing yourself of the baggage. Because when you don't forgive and you hold on to animosity and resentment, and you, you're just walking around out here like angry at the world or you're trying to you know, you, you know, you, because a lot of masculines, when they're hurt by a feminine energy, they, be, they become womanizers. And so I don't feel like you've done that. I feel like maybe you were in the past. That's why you done knocked down a lot. You know what I'm saying? You may have turned into that womanizer, that player player from the Himalaya. Um, but I feel like now it's like almost like this sense of like, you know, forgiveness, like when you forgive yourself or forgive those who may have hurt you, that frees you of any baggage you could be carrying energetically, you know, but when you are carrying baggage and you're holding on to resentment and remorse and you haven't learned the lessons, all you're going to do is bump into somebody else who has matching luggage as you. The same baggage you have, they're going to be like, oh, snap, you got baggage like this, I got baggage too. And then y'all going to be two toxic folks together driving each other miserable, driving each other crazy because misery loves company. Not this swing around, not this go around, not this time around. It's like once you've forgiven that person from your past that broke your heart, that person that you had to walk away from, now there's this sense of freedom. You're free now. You freed your dome of all the, you know, the, 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 the negative self-talk, all of the remorse and regret and all the shame. It's like you forgave yourself first for even allowing some of that stuff to happen. You forgave the other person for even being able to be in a position to hurt you in that way. And now that you freed yourself, now you're trusting your intuition. And 96 is 15. That reduces to six. That's why now you're receiving divine downloads. You're trusting your intuition. You're using discernment. You're not going uh, towards anything or doing anything without it sitting right in your spirit first. You know what I'm saying? And we got Faith Evans singing, ain't nobody. So now you're going to attract somebody that's not going to be like anybody else. Because there's ain't nobody who could love me like you is what she says in the lyrics. Now you're going to attract that person that is like the yang to, you know, the yin to your yang. Ain't nobody who could really love me like you do. And it's because you forgave. You know, forgiveness is a show of compassion, you know. And now that's why you got this new beginning. You're, you're, you're really, you know, embarking on some brand new, you know, chapter, cycle, you know, voyage. It's like there's something new coming in now. And it's because you've released the old. You forgiving, that's what freed you up. You released that ex. You let go of something that was very toxic. And now you're coming into a spiritual partnership. Your spirituality is what led to this ascension, this personal growth. You know, this personal growth has happened for you, um, you know, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, even physically. But this is like, you know, you connected now. You're very connected. You know, this is like your psychic abilities, spiritual connection is all amplified right now. You're getting downloads. The seven is the number of the crown chakra, but it's also the number of the chariot in traditional tarot. So there's forward movement, assertiveness, confidence, you know, this balance now. And you're attracting someone who's on your frequency and vibration, as I said. So that 44 is environment. This is somebody that loves you. 77 is showing. This person is also very spiritual, very psychic, very in tune. And that's why I was picking up, you know, with that six communication, that there could be some telepathic communication, dream activity. Somebody could be communicating with you intuitively. Because when somebody thinks of you constantly, because you all are so 
psychic and 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 you know um your channelers yourselves i feel like you pick up on that energetically you could pick up on that so that's powerful so let's go ahead we're going to get a couple of messages and then we're going to wrap it up for my divine divine masculine so we got strength here you mustered up the strength coverage and wisdom to end cycles that were not honoring you this is spiritual strength the 50 reduces to five that's the hierophant yet again so this shows your maturation, your spiritual alignment, you being a boss, a leader, going after what you want, taking no prisoners, I keep hearing. And we have indecision eight. So remember, I was saying somebody was up in their head struggling with mental illness. This is that same angst, confusion, anxiety. Indecision is when you're confused, conflicted mentally. You know, this could even speak to somebody, like I said, obsessively thinking of something or just trying to choose trying to make the right decision, but someone is absolutely going to go with their inner gumption. Ain't nobody. So, you know, there could be a lot of options right now that you all have. So spirit of love and light, what's coming in for our divine masculine? May I have a message of love and light for my divine masculine? Energy. What I say about y'all experiencing a lot of hurt and pain. That's why that four perseverance was there because you had to heal from that. You had to recover from that. That's rejuvenation. You rejuvenated your spirit. That's, that takes work, baby. That ain't easy. That's a lot of internal work, a lot of soul searching. Bottom of the deck, we got the moon. So this moon is showing. This is all about manifestations, but that's also about, you know, what's hidden. You know, whatever may be hidden. You know, this is like what's in the shadows, what you may not see. And that's what I feel like many of you you know, started to look at, you started to reflect upon, you know, the things that was being hidden from you. And this was in, per in pertinence to a love partnership, a connection. Maybe you discovered secrets, lies. Maybe you discovered someone was not being their authentic self. They were wearing a mask. Maybe some of you all started to soul search and dive deep within yourselves and realize that you weren't necessarily being fulfilled emotionally in a particular relationship. And you started to work on yourself. Therefore, you're starting to manifest in this physical reality because the healing can begin when you recognize and realize that there's some work that needs to be done. So you begin to heal that self, love that self, then you know that self, and then you move on because now you know what you want. You know your love language. You got the 41, seventh chakra. Look at that. 41, five, spiritual ascension, baby, the hierophant yet again. This is what you all started to do. You started to tap in. It's that tap in, tune in, baby. This is them synchronicities. This is you trusting in, in your, your divine knowledge, trusting in the divine, receiving those downloads, transmissions, divine interventions, seeing the synchronicities, bumping into animal totems. You know what I'm saying? Having certain lucid dreams, decoding all of that, realizing you're a star realizing your worth, realizing your purpose even. Some of you all started to discover what your soul's mission, passion, and purpose was. Some of you all are musicians, artists, instrument. You play instruments. Some of you are rappers. Some of you are singers. Some of you compose music. Some of you are in a band. Some of you like to write poetry. You know what I'm talking about? Some of you are literally like lyricists. Others of you have a gift, skill, you're being initiated, you're being ordained, you're being anointed to utilize your gifts for a specific purpose of healing the masses, wakening up the masses, you know, helping to awaken lost souls. Like this is this is like your seven chakras. Some of y'all are psychics. Some of you all are intuitives. Some of you all are clairaudience, clairvoyance. You got the 32. Some of you all could hear messages in the songs. 42, 42 again on the clock. That's six, six, 12. That's three. Some of you all, as I said, are receiving messages from your divine feminine because she's thinking of you all the time. You're picking up on it energetically. Archangel Uriel, that is the beautiful angel that is giving you these downloads and transmissions. You know, with the six love, we're about to clarify six love. So it's like, you know, it's coming in because you manifest it. Some of you all, y'all have been manifesting it, calling it in. And I feel like, you know, unbeknownst to you, but by you changing your vibration, that's what's bringing it in. You got star of the story. So the star of your story, masculines, is entering. It's like, cue our divine masculine's love interest now. That's what spirit is saying. Star of the story. The star of your story is coming in. With this six love, that is your 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 divine counterpart. 
and we got patience. You've been very patient. It required patience because you were still healing thyself. You was going through your own growing pains. And it always required divine time. And good things take time to create. When you rush the process, that's when you bunch into the ratchets and the little jump offs. You know what I'm saying? But when you take the time to heal thyself, you learn to love yourselves, then you know yourselves. And then you know what your love language is. You know what you're looking for. Getting too old. Some of y'all are like, yo, I'm too old to be out here, you know, j you know, hanging, you know, laying up with this one and that one and jumping from bed to bed. Like some of y'all are really starting to look at yourselves in the mirror. It's like, you know, as you're growing spiritually, you there's just there's this 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 um this battle internally that some of you all may be going through. Like, you know, I can't keep living like that. I can't keep going to the club, picking up random women. I can't keep doing the things I was doing when I was in high school. You know what I'm saying? It's time to settle down. Some of y'all don't even have seeds. And you're thinking about your legacy. You're thinking, you know what I'm saying? All this death going on around here. It's like, dang, like, you know, I want to make sure I have a little seed, somebody to carry my legacy. 4444. Four, four, four. So your angels are sending in someone special. That's why it's taking the time. Good things take time to create. And good things are always going to be, you're going to appreciate the things you work for. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, like, you, you know, some of you all, you're so used to just getting whatever you want, meaning you're so used to having any type of female. Or you, it's like, it's like, you know, it's, it's just like now it's like, it's like you're a choosy lover now. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing Isley Brothers. You're choosy lovers. Choosy lover. You know what I'm saying? It's like now you're choosy because now you know your worth. It's like now it's like you 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 want you want somebody that's going to put up a fight. You know what I'm talking about? Like you don't want anybody that's just an around the way girl. We got L.O. Cool J singing around the way girl. And maybe you do want you want somebody that's down to earth in that regard, but not somebody that's been around. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody that's been around, but you want an around the way girl, somebody that you could bring around your family. You want somebody that you could bring to your job functions. You know what I'm saying? You want somebody that you could even, you know, um, you know, just like experience new things with, have new adventures, create new memories. So patience, young grasshopper. A lot of y'all, you know, patience is a form of action. So the work you've been doing is like it's permeating now. Somebody else is doing the work and that's why you're coming into alignment, you know, into this love connection with somebody so who is this person see that we got indecision so there was a lot of confusion somebody up in their head how how do I do this what do I say you know there's a lot of thoughts a lot of you know just a lot of fears even this is that energy here with that mental health like somebody just kind of doubting themselves or questioning themselves on how to come in what to say this is all self-imposed maybe they have other options love love interests or other factors that could be causing some of this confusion like you know maybe they're really just kind of you know unsure you know uncertain and so we have a um abundance here three so this is beautiful so there's like really, if some of you all are musicians or artists, um, whatever it is that you all do, there's, there's absolutely like there's some sort of prosperity and success expansion here um, through you utilizing your spiritual gifts. I feel like there's going to be some sort of reward. There's going to be some sort of like wish fulfillment and abundance that showers upon you. And I feel like this is going to make you really like uh, successful. The name of this album by LL Cool J is called All World 2. So I do feel like it's, you know, this is coming in because y'all, like I said earlier, completed a cycle. The completions always, you know, um, you know, always bring forth a new beginning. So it's like spirit is rewarding you. And this is due in part to the seeds you've sown in the past in good faith, the hard work that you've done. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not getting rewarded for no reason because this says blossoming abundance, which means that these this was like your hard work. You've earned this. These are things you've done in your past, which is now causing um, this abundance to flourish, to blossom, to um, manifest. And we have Archangel Shamuel. And this is the third chakra, which is the solar plexus, which is the sun that shines within. So someone absolutely is trying to muster up the courage, the strength that comes towards you because they feel a strong connection. They feel like you're an around the way girl, uh, around the way. Well, you guys feel are going to feel like this is an around the way girl. Like this is somebody just real cool, chill. You know what I'm saying? She's not high maintenance. 
know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm hearing, you know, it, she's a lady, but she's a freak in the bed. Like, you want somebody that's like, you know, they leave things to your imagination. They're not walking around outside in, in like panties and bra. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want somebody that has some respect, self-respect. You know what I'm saying? You don't want everybody, anyone that just, you know, is like, that is um, easily distracted, if you will. This is someone that is your divine counterpart. This is a spiritual connection, a spiritual, spiritual connection. So there will be synergy. There will be chemistry. There will also be the sense that you've met this person before because perhaps maybe you have because environment is here. So let's see. Why is spiritual partnership here? May I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And we got Prince singing a door. You're going to adore this person. And this is going to cause a lot of frustration. Perhaps in an ex, a toxic ex is going to try to come back arguing with you. And you're just going to be like, please, boop, leave a message. We got door to value. Look at this. This is an abundant, this is a very fruitful time for y'all. You know, you're, you're going to be very uh, fulfilled emotionally, financially. I feel like you could build some sort of partnership connection with this person where y'all could go into business. Maybe y'all are going to have spiritual business together. And there's just like the door to value is opening up because it's like, you know, this person, as I said, is coming in to add on and they have something to offer. They're not coming in with their hands looking like cups, like gimme, gimme, gimme. This is somebody that has their own and you have your own and y'all going to put it together and y'all going to have more. And this is a, a relationship, you know, a connection that you're going to absolutely adore. This person is going to adore you. The name of this album is Sign of the Times. And I feel like you need to look for, you know, the signs and synchronicities. Trust your intuition. This is 31. That's four. Stability, security, financial freedom, expansion, growth, elevation. This is really like opulence. This is beautiful. And somebody going to be mad, mad. They're going to be butt hurt because you're moving on. This is that person that you left in the past. Remember, that same 26 is here. That love partnership that you said, okay, I got to pardon my back. Pardon my back. Pardon, pardon, pardon me. Because all these secrets and lies that you thought you was hiding, I found them all. Somebody, you found out somebody was keeping secrets. This person's hostile because now they see you coming into not only a spiritual partnership, but a really genuine connection. And you have absolutely adore, you adore this person. This person adores you and somebody is going to be butt hurt and they're going to be trying to in, like in, cause um, some sort of disagreements and arguments. They're going to be trying to get you to, to you know, fall into the trap of, of, of going back and forth with them. You know, but remember, this is like this is somebody who's caused this on themselves. That 26 is also eight. This is karma. That's why they're suffering mentally, you know, because now they got to sit with whatever they was thought they was hiding, whatever secrets and lies they thought they swept under the rug. You tripped over it and discovered it all like you tripped over that rug. It was like a mountain. And you discovered all the things this person was hiding. And now they're sitting there with regret, remorse. Now they're mentally conflicted. Now there's this confusion. Now there's this angst. Now they're pining and ruminating. And why did I do this? And how did I do that? But then they're projecting at the same time. And now they're deflecting at the same time. Trying to come to you with some drama when they was the one that defiled the connection or, you know, really didn't add on in the first place. So somebody's receiving karma. And because they're receiving karma for their misdeeds... They're trying to project their frustration onto y'all. So why is 71 health here for my beloved divine masculine energy for that yang energy? May I have a message of love and light spirit. May I have a message of love and light. Somebody sees how much you're adored as well. And that frustrates them because they didn't appreciate you when they had you. Look at that. You got the victory here, baby. Same messages that's coming out in your reading was also showing up in that yin energy. That's how I know you about to connect. You about to come into alignment. There's about to be connectedness with your divine feminine. And we got this. Look at this. Somebody thought they had all these options. They were sitting there, you know, sitting around entertaining multiple options. This 24, this is what they was doing. They had all these different doors they was walking through. You know what I'm saying? With this 71, 8, this is like this person was confused. They had all these options, competition. It was a bunch of people in the mix. It says adjacent possibilities. I feel like you'd realize again that you have, it's like you got options. You know what I'm saying? Somebody want to sit around and have all these options behind your back, keeping secrets, hiding things. You know what I'm saying? And so you said, you know what? I, you're not my only option. You know, you're not my only option. Spirit told you, you know, trust your intuition and use discernment.
because this person here they're conflicted because of the decisions they made in the past that they thought that they was you know they thought they were slicker than they were and some of y'all discovered something you discovered that somebody was really you know creeping somebody had a, a, a um you know some sort of uh I'm hearing a, a rendezvous with someone because I'm getting from Prince. I feel like somebody thought they met their Prince Charming, so they kind of went, you know, and, and was having some old secret rendezvous, and you may have discovered it. Your intuition was like barking at you, screaming at you, and you have the victory. You, you literally, you know what I'm saying, when you found out what you did, it was an ending, but it was also a victorious one. In the Divine Feminine um, reading, I was hearing victory lap, and then the card came out. So your your Divine Feminine is also, you know, freeing themselves up from some toxicity as well. And that's why I feel I was picking up, like, you guys are matching one another's energy now, and that's what's bringing y'all into alignment. We're about to clarify the 44 environment. This person is closer than you think. And this person is going to adore you, appreciate you, value you. This is somebody that feels like they can build with you, grow with you, plant seeds and roots with you. Someone willing to compromise. This is not somebody egotistic. This isn't somebody operating in that low vibration. This is someone that absolutely will see your worth and value and see what you bring to the table. And they will add on, as I said not take away like that past person and this is leading to a victory this could even represent marriage you know this 28 reduces to one that's a new beginning so you have a victorious new beginning passionate new start remember new beginning also came out i am with you you are with me all right so why is 44 environment here for my beloved divine masculine yang energy may I have a message of love and light Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck. Well, our archangel, uh, Shamuel, the third chakra. So, yeah. Strength, courage, and wisdom. It's been inside of me all along. That's what somebody's been doing. That's what y'all have been doing. Y'all have been really and truly, you know, mustering up the strength to do your due diligence. What did I say? Ooh, Lord. Oh, my God. How should I pick up these cards? They fell out like this, so Spirit is telling me to do that. So we got the um, Magician in the Mirror. What did I say? Somebody, this is eight, and this is eight. So this is somebody who is finally um, mustering up the strength to come towards you because eight and eight reduces to 16, six is seven. That's the chariot. And remember, you have this uh, Archangel Shamuel, which is the third chakra. Someone has had some sort of um, divine download, like, okay, you need to move now. Go after what you want. Somebody's been manifesting you. You know what I'm saying? Or you have been manifesting this person. But I do feel like you both are matching one another's vibration. Eight, eight. You know what I'm talking about? So you're their wish fulfillment. They see you as wish fulfillment. This is like as above, so below. So it's like, remember sign of the times I was picking up with Prince. So there's going to be some sort of synchronicity, some, some, some sort of like inner gumption. You're going to know when somebody's coming in. You know what I'm saying? And we got music soul tries try, um soul child singing buddy. So this could be like I said a friend. This could be a secret admirer, somebody who's your friend, you know. Because with this environment card, as I was picking up, this could be somebody uh, that you you know, a colleague, somebody in your neighborhood, somebody you grew up with. This could be you know somebody that you are familiar with, you know. And this person or you or both of you are truly master manifestors. And I do feel like you know there's something really beautiful that is coming in for you all. You're manifesting this. And it's coming in quickly because the chariot moves with a force. And this person, when they come in, they're going to be very assertive. They're going to be very confident. And then we have forgiveness. So spirit is saying, like, you know, a lot of you all had to forgive someone because maybe, you know, y'all were married. Maybe y'all were um, engaged. Maybe y'all was dealing with the mothers to your children. You know what I'm talking about? And it's like, you know, maybe even some of you all had to forgive, like, your parents, you know what I'm talking about? But it's like now it's like through your forgiveness, because when you forgive those who hurt you, whether you're, you know, ex-lovers, uh, friends, even your family, you know, forgiving your parents for the hurt, the pain. Um, it's like it does free you. And and what this has brought you was um, stability. You know, it brought you back into harmony, back into balance. It brought you back into a space where you could, you know, go after the things that you wanted, after the, the things you desired. 
you know, and that's why you're here. Um, very stable. You have something to offer. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're very resourceful, very much. You got that Midas touch, you know, you're like, you, you make things happen. And that's why there's this old envious, jealous ass envy, um, deceitful and en energy, pardon me here. That's watching, you know, lurking in the background because they're perturbed that you have this new beginning. This is somebody that's in that same seven energy. Um, we saw the, um, we saw like the, 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 dang, what was that? I can't remember, but it's like this, this seven is reminding me of like the seven of swords. Someone's that, that is like, you know, even they, they're deceiving themselves and, and, and they're master manipulators. This is to me like the devil, you know, I get the seven deadly sins, you know, I get, you know, just somebody who's just greedy, a trickster, a liar, somebody who's just constantly watching you, spying you obsessively. And it's because they are very jealous of this new beginning, this new person that's coming into your life, this new passion, the, the way you adore another person. They're very angry, very jealous, very jealous. They're jealous of your, your stability and your security. And I feel like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You get those downloads, you get like those butterflies, you get sense like when somebody comes around you or when somebody calls, it's like your energy will drop or your energy will peak. You know what I'm saying? And that's a very telling sign. That's what I was saying. You you trust the cycles and rhythms of your body now. It's like, you know. And we got Michelle and Dale Cello singing love song number three. So absolutely, you all have a lover, a divine feminine. That three is the empress. You guys are the number four that showed up soon as we opened up the, the reading. So your empress is coming in and somebody's going to be very butthurt, jealous. They're going to be suffering from mental anguish. You know, and they're going to try to come in and lie. Remember, we saw hostilities. They're going to try to entice you or engage you into some sort of um, discourse argument. Remember, whoever angers you controls you. So maintain self-control. Ashe. So that is your reading, my beautiful divine masculine. I hope this reading resonated. Um, if you found that the, me the reading resonated, just be kind. Please rotate the love, hit the like, the share, the subscribe um, button. Um, if you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. My beloved divine masculine, my Kings, um, love is love is love <laughs> until next time. I send a big fat ashe. Peace, love and light y'all.